All right, with this evening weather briefing for Friday, January the 6th, and this is the evening edition. I am Josh Brown. I hope that you all had a great Friday. And after we had that front that came through late last night, uh, this means that the weather is going to be turning out to pretty nice we head into the weekend and we had seen that today as well so if you love beautiful weather uh hope you get a chance to get outside this weekend and enjoy it and uh and yeah so let's go ahead and uh take a look what's happening uh or i should say take a look at the high temperatures rather uh that we had seen today in uh, central florida and uh, as you can see here that most of us saw highs in the mid to upper 60s uh with some like right down towards Melbourne, uh, some isolated areas did see a high that did climb to about to about uh, 70 degrees. So, so yeah, it's been pretty nice out there uh, once again. But it's going to get pretty chilly uh, as we head into the overnight and into tomorrow morning. And I'm talking low temperatures starting off early Saturday in the 40s. And, and we're going to show you that with the timing on future, future cast in just a little bit. Temperatures right now looking to cool things down uh, as we're heading towards eight o'clock. So right now we got a current temperature sitting at 57 in the metro. We got 56 in Kissimmee. Got some mid 50s up in our northern counties. So like uh, Ocala, the villages, Daytona Beach, and Palm Coast. Your folks are sitting in the, in in and around the mid 50s at this hour. And temperatures in Sanford still sitting in the low 60s, but it'll start to drop down to the 50s soon. And, and temperatures in Titusville is sitting close to 60, but it is 59. So if you got any plans for the rest of this evening, uh, just uh, take a light jacket. But other than that, other than that, it should be turning out uh, pretty pretty nice, at least uh, to end the week, and also to start off our weekend. All righty, so let's go ahead and take a look at Futurecast and show you how again how chilly the temperatures are going to be for your neighborhood as we head into the overnight and into tomorrow morning and also show you how cool the temperatures are going to be as we get through the first weekend the first full weekend rather of uh, 2023 and remember uh as remember also if you're just uh coming coming on into uh, facebook live on this uh, friday evening please do feel free to go ahead and share this with your friends and your families and you know my motto, and that is uh, sharing is caring. And let me go ahead and pinpoint the uh, temperatures location by location before we uh, take a look at the uh, temperatures here as we get to the weekend with uh, Futurecast. Alrighty, so we're going to continue to see 50s as we head into the next few hours this evening. Again, it won't be until overnight and into the morning hours of morning hours of your Saturday that we'll see temperatures start off in the 40s. And uh, and I noticed that there's a half marathon race going on over at Disney tomorrow morning. So if you are, are planning on planning on uh, uh, running the half marathon in the morning. Uh, just take a running jacket because, uh, again, temperatures are going to be feeling pretty chilly to start off the day. But uh, I don't think you'll need the jacket uh, while you're running, which I know most runners uh, don't wear jackets while they run. Uh, but but still, you know, right before or after, you definitely may want to uh, have those uh, bundled up pretty handy. And, and if you're running the uh, Disney half uh, tomorrow morning, uh, good luck. And again, to the afternoon, we'll see temperatures quickly warm up into the 60s and into the low 70s. So we may see a high temperature uh, rise around 72 here in the metro. Could see a high could see a high temperature around 71 tomorrow as well in Kissimmee. 69 in Winter Haven, and there could be some uh, 67 degree temperatures up in Ocala and for the villages. And perhaps there could be some low to mid 60s, a little bit cooler uh, tomorrow for Daytona and Palm Coast. Then taking you into tomorrow evening at 8 p.m., it shows that temperatures again will cool things down quickly from the 60s, low 70s down into the 50s. So you may need a so you may need another light jacket again if you're going to be outdoors, uh, you know, like after dark tomorrow night. But other other than that, it's just still be it's just still be another nice night and of course a nice day 
ahead on your Saturday. And then as we head into the overnight hours, late Saturday and into early Sunday morning, uh, and I believe Disney's got a full marathon coming up on Sunday morning. So if you plan on running the full marathon uh, around Disney, uh, again, you may need a jacket again because temperatures this time will be in the 50s. So there could be a low temperature early Sunday at 56 in the metro. Much of the, most of the 40s will be mostly shifting, will, will shift off towards the west. So if you live right along Interstate 75 between Marion all the way down into Polk counties, you could see lows in the mid to upper 40s again heading into early Sunday with mostly just low to mid 50s if you live along in east of I-4. And, and if you're running the full marathon at Disney on Sunday, good luck as well. Now, heading into the rest of the day on Sunday, we'll see temperatures warm things up a little bit. So it may not be as cool than it was today and like we'll be seeing tomorrow. But it will, it's just still be another nice day. So we're talking about high temperatures Sunday rising up into the low to mid 70s. And then taking you to Sunday night, we'll see temperatures by 8 o'clock that evening uh, drop down slightly, but still remaining mild in the 60s. And then as the clock continues all the way through late Sunday night and into early Monday morning. So as the clock ends around 7 a.m., then we'll see lows in the 50s. So not quite as chilly than it will be uh, for the next uh, few mornings this weekend. So there you have it there. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the radar at the radar this evening and see what's going on right now in Central Florida. And as you can see, we are looking severe clear. So I'm not expecting any any types of precipitation here in our state as we head into the next several days. That includes this weekend and perhaps the first half of next week. So there you have it there. And let's see, we got uh, Sherry Highwood in the house this evening. Well, unfortunately, uh, not this year. But I did I did run the Walt Disney World uh, Half Marathon two years, or, or I should say three years ago. My dad and I had it, or yeah, had in uh, January of 2020, just before the before COVID hit, along with the along with the lockdown, which which we got pretty lucky. But we did run the wine and dine half marathon race uh, last November, but uh, but maybe next year, maybe, maybe 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 my father and I will try to run the Walt Disney World half marathon again uh, in 2024. And maybe some later this year, just depends. All righty, so, let, so here is a look at the GFS models and it will start things off with Monday of this week the upcoming week rather, which is the 9th of January. And as you can see, we'll still be looking dry here across much of our state. Could be some showers up here in parts of the Mississippi Valley region ahead of ahead of a, a, ahead of another system that may start to start trying to develop from the Northwest. And it looks like also there could be some showers down towards the Keys and near Miami too, but the chances are isolated, should be isolated at this time. But it will turn out still pretty nice temperature wise as we head into the beginning of next week with low to mid 70s and it'll be cooler up in the Mississippi Valley and that's where temperatures may only climb into the 50s and into the low 60s. All right now heading heading into the day on Tuesday. It looks like there's an area of low pressure that may try to form down in the Gulf, and that could fill up the rain chances along I-10 between New Orleans, stretching towards the east into the western side of the Panhandle. Here in central Florida, however, we'll still be looking dry ahead of that system. And again, here's a look at the high temperatures, and we'll still be mild in the low to mid 70s, but there is a chance that if you live up in Marion County, such as Ocala, you may see temperatures uh, Remain on the, remain on, remaining on the cool side with only in the upper 60s. But again, you'll have to go farther up north because it shows that up in the Panhandle and even even up a tour, up into uh, Alabama, southern Alabama, that is, and much, and much of uh, Georgia and the Carolinas will see temperatures much cooler in the way of mid to upper 50s with elsewhere, like in 
uh, let's say Pensacola, stretching back towards the west of New Orleans and the rest of Mississippi, uh, temperatures will be a little warm in the low to mid 60s. And again, this is for Tuesday. So it may not be until we get into Wednesday that we'll see our we'll see our next chance of rain move into central Florida. But at this time, the rain chances remain isolated at 30 percent. But, you know, there's, there's still a lot of lots of time to watch the models carefully. So I'll keep you all posted for any up uh, for any possible changes once we get close to the middle of next week. So so 30 percent chance of rain is what we're going to call for now as we head into Wednesday with some scattered chances up in uh, uh, central Georgia. And temperatures will be slightly cooler with that uh, system, so we may see highs in the upper 60s, especially if you live up to the north in other areas, for, let's say from Orlando and farther south, in the way of 70s, and perhaps down towards Miami and elsewhere in southern Florida could see highs in the low 80s. But the much cooler air will still be again up to the north in, Miss in the Mississippi Valley, where temperatures may only get up into the 50s and into the low 60s. Looks like the rain will start to move out of here uh, as we get into the day on Thursday, January the 12th. So we'll see the sunshine come back out again from much of the southeast as that uh, energy pushes off towards the Atlantic. And yes, it will still turn mild or stay mild rather in the way of mid 70s all across the all across the entire viewing area with uh, temperatures. Uh, Still on the mild side, but a little bit cooler in the way of upper 50s and into the mid 60s. And then it looks like yet another system may develop from the, nor from the northwest once Friday the 13th approaches, and that could really increase the rain chances up in the Mississippi Valley and for the Panhandle. And that also could be ahead of another uh, cold front that may start to uh, develop. So that's something we may have to watch too. And ahead of it, there could be some coastal showers that could form as well along I-4 and east. And as we look at our high temperatures and ahead of the system and ahead of the next front, we'll still be mild in the 70s across much of our state. Well, for the peninsula region, that is. But if you if you go up towards the panhandle, temperatures will be cooler in the 60s. But as the front starts to uh, move a little bit closer to the southeast, especially passing through the Mississippi Valley, that's gonna bring temperatures much cooler and even perhaps somewhat chilly in the, in the way of upper 40s and into the mid 50s. And again, this is for Friday of next week. And then it looks like the same system could increase our rain chances again once we get into the day on Saturday, January the 14th. So we may call for now just about a 50 to a 60% coverage of seeing some of the of seeing some of those showers and maybe even a few thunderstorms if there's any if there's enough warm air so that's something we'll have to watch but uh, I, but just remember that we're still a week away and things could change model wise as we get closer and it looks like uh with the uh rain and with the same front that's going to start to uh, drop our temperatures by next saturday from the 70s quickly to the 50s and into the low 60s. So you may want to be prepared for next weekend's uh, temperature change. But again, you'll have to go up north, up to the north because the Mississippi Valley could see highs only staying in the low to mid 40s once that day approaches. But if we move forward into the first half of Sunday, January the 15th, uh, it shows that low temperatures could start off in the low 40s here in central Florida, just like we'll be seeing here uh, this weekend. So that's something we'll keep an eye out for, but you may never know that could change. So any 30s that do happen will be mostly up to the north, up around the, the Florida Panhandle and for the Mississippi Valley region. But the rain will be, will be moving out of here by the 15th, of course. And that will give us uh, plenty of dry air and around the southeast behind the front. But unfortunately, because of that front, temperatures are going to stay cool and chilly in the 50s and into the low 60s, with upper 40s and into the low 50s in the Mississippi Valley. And again, these are high temperatures, not lows. 
So you may want to so you, so you may not want to put those sweaters away quite yet after this weekend. Because 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 again, we may see another another uh, drop of uh, temperatures that's warm to cool. And if we uh, take a look at the low temperatures uh, from for the uh, first half of Monday, January the 16th, it shows that lows again may start off in the 30s, especially if you go up towards the uh, Florida Panhandle and for the Mississippi Valley. But here in central Florida, we'll see another round of lows in the 40s as the 16th approaches. And again, that's the first half, not the not all day. Other than that, the weather will still remain dry across central Florida and much of the southeast as the beginning of the following week does approach. And we may see a slight warm up once the 16th arrives, but still not much of the way of a bigger warm up. So, we, so some, some areas may still see highs in the upper 50s, like up in the villages. No can see a high around 59 on the 16th with others starting to warm, starting to slowly but surely warm things back up into the low to mid 60s with uh, mostly mid to upper 50s to at or near 60 degrees in the Mississippi Valley. And here are the lows again for the first half of Tuesday, January the 17th, as we're entering the land of voodoo country. It may start off again a little chilly, but not quite as chilly. So, so there's no low 40s uh, on the map, but according to the GFS, so instead of seeing that, we may see lows start, start off in the upper 40s and into the low 50s. And again, this is for early in the morning of Tuesday, January the 17th, with uh, temperatures still remaining super chilly in the Mississippi Valley in the upper 30s and into the low 40s. And heading into the rest of the day on the 17th, same thing. Southeast looks still looks to turn dry with uh, no much, not much of the way of rain or any types of precipitation to deal with once the middle of the uh, month approaches. But the good news is we'll see a nice warming trend come back by next Tuesday or not or I should say the 17th rather, that's the following Tuesday. So instead of seeing 50s and low 60s, I think we could see temperatures warm back into the upper 60s and others into the low 70s. So that'll be nice to see. And even temperatures will start to warm things up a little bit for the Mississippi Valley with some 50s and into the low 60s. And then yet here comes another system that will develop from the Northwest once we get towards the day on Wednesday, January the 18th, and that could fill up the rain chances for the Mississippi Valley. But ahead of the system for Central Florida, we will still remain dry at this time. And temperatures will continue, will continue to warm up. So we may see low to mid 70s, uh, possibly if that is the case as we approach that day. And it looks like temperatures may also start to may start to warm up as well into the 60s and into the low 70s for the lower part of the Mississippi Valley. So there could be not just showers, but maybe there may, but there could be also a few strong thunderstorms if that is the case. So that's something we may have to watch as well. But again, it's just too early to say since then we are two weeks out. So so there's still a lot of time to watch the trends carefully. So you, so you may never know, things could change as we get closer. And let's see, we got uh, Mari uh, Feliciano in the house this evening. Uh, uh, thanks, uh, 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 Maria, or Mari rather. <laughs> I really do appreciate it. And we got uh, Gloria uh, Hanra. Hanrahan, if I pronounce your last name correct, uh, you're, I see that you're in the house as well. Well, maybe maybe it's cold for you, but you know, when you go outside, at least as we get to towards the next few mornings, it'll just be on the chilly side. But I uh, hope you stay warm. All right, uh, now moving into Thursday, January the 19th, and as you can see, as the system does get close into our state, it's going to start to uh, decrease the chances for rain just a little bit. Still there'll be some showers around across the northern half of our state and some scattered chances up in southeast Georgia and for the Carolinas. And as we take a look at the high temperatures, it will still remain warm in the low to mid 70s, so not bad at all, but 
if you really want some more warm weather, like warmer than mid 70s, you may have to go farther south because the GFS is showing for now on, on the 19th of upper 70s and into the lower 80s. But if you go back up to the north, temperatures will be cooler, but still mild in the Mississippi Valley with upper 50s and into the mid 60s. And then it looks like uh, we may see a little bit of rain, uh, not for all of central Florida, but for some of for, for, but for some areas in our market. So it looks like parts of Marion and Flacco counties could see a few isolated showers, possibly by Friday, January the 20th, and that's two weeks from today. And temperature wise still looks to stay pretty warm with upper 70s and maybe perhaps climbing back into the lower 80s for some of you as we get into the end of that week with the uh, temperatures also up in the Mississippi Valley it may warm or or should say slowly but surely warm warm thing should warm things up into the 60s and into the low 70s so we can take it we can take the the warm weather and still again there could be a few one or two showers for some parts of our viewing area as the day on saturday january the 21st approaches but i think the better chances will still be staying up to the north affecting portions of the eastern side of the panhandle up into southern southern and eastern georgia and into uh, south carolina like charleston could see some scattered showers for the day on saturday the 21st but again it's two weeks out so it's still quite too early to say so that's why i call it the land of voodoo and that could be ahead of another cold front as well and if so that could really drop our temperatures from the lower 80s down into the mid low to mid 70s uh, rather if that is the case here in our viewing area but if you go up to the north in the mississippi valley it may start to turn out much cooler again as temperatures could drop down into the upper 50s and into the low 60s and if we look at the low temperatures for the morning of sunday january the 22nd uh, behind the front, it shows that temperatures may may start to get cooler, so not chilly or anything extremely cold at this time, which could be some good news. So instead of seeing 30s, 40s, we may see lows in the 50s to about at or near 60 degrees, we'll say, as we get into the first half of Sunday, the 22nd. And again, that's the lows, not the highs. But you'll have to go up to the uh, farther up to the north in the Mississippi Valley because that's where temperatures may uh, start off pretty chilly in the way of low to mid 40s. And last but not least, this trend does end to the second half of Sunday, January the 22nd, with just some showers down in the southern part of our state, leaving the rest of uh, central Florida and farther north into the Mississippi Valley dry. But it looks like some area of, of low pressure could start to uh, develop along the Gulf Coast, and that could fill up the rain the rain chances there. But again, it's too early to say, so that's why this is what we what I call it, the land of voodoo. But it seems that temperatures will be pretty nice uh, in the way of mid 70s. So it's so I think it, it may be just only one day, which is the 21st of seeing cooler temperatures behind the front, but it will start to warm things back up quickly. And the same could also be happening for the Mississippi Valley too. So there you have it there, folks. So what I am going to do right now is go ahead and sign out of Facebook Live on this Friday evening. So I'll be back here for another live update Monday, uh, same time, and, then I'll, and I'll, that will be at uh, 8 p.m. And I'll continue as usual by posting more notes and updates on my blog and social media platforms 24-7. In the meantime, I hope you guys enjoy your weekend and hope you get out and enjoy, enjoy the nice weather as well. And uh, also remember to continue to stay safe by taking care of yourselves and each other. And God bless.